Hi guys, in this video, I want to share my 7 essential tips on how to study for a GCSE or A-level exam. Number 1. Don't spend so much time making notes. I know sometimes it's tempting to have those neat aesthetic notes to refer to, but they take super long to make. I went through it as well, and most of the time, you won't even go past the third chapter. I'm not saying you shouldn't make notes at all, but instead of making notes for every single detail in your textbook and additional resources, only make notes for those that need to be memorized. Notes are supposed to be simple, like a cheat sheet, where you can immediately look up an important formula, definition, or method for certain procedures. Number 2. Don't multitask, focus on one thing. Study alone in a quiet room, or if you don't have your own room, make sure no one is talking to you or bothering you. Don't talk and study at the same time. Don't FaceTime or call your friends while studying unless you guys want to discuss some questions. Stay focused on studying, at least for an hour, and just think about learning during that time. No music, no phone, no YouTube, unless you're watching my tutorial videos, of course. During the exam, you're gonna sit for the exam by yourself, and you need to learn to focus on one thing, doing the paper. Number 3. Set a study goal every day. Make a list before you go to bed, for example, solve 2 physics paper 6, practice economics chapter 3 questions, and memorize definitions for biology. Then tell yourself that you're only allowed to chew once you've completed your study goals. This will help you to feel accomplished at the end of the day because you know you have completed your goal and you can recall back on the list of things you've successfully done. Make small steps first so that you won't burn out and while studying, remind yourself that you can chew peacefully once you complete your goal. Number 4. Study different subjects a day. You know this feeling when you wake up in the morning and suddenly feel like doing 25 physics past papers, but it's a bad idea. Our brain cannot take doing the same task for hours and hours, and this is the fastest way to lose your motivation. Your brain won't retain anything, so force yourself not to do that. Just like the least I mentioned in number 3, study 2 to 3 subjects a day. That's enough variation, and trust me, it's gonna be much more effective than doing one subject for 7 hours. Okay, but don't study 7 subjects a day, that's a bit too much. Number 5. Try the latest past papers. This is the biggest hint that you can get from the exam board. The questions in your coming exam will be similar to the latest papers. There's a trend in past papers every year. Well, obviously, they won't give the exact same questions, but it's definitely gonna prepare you more than doing past papers from 2012. Also, revise the latest ones a day before your exam to refresh your memory. That's how important they are. So if you're taking a GCSE physics, biology, or chemistry, I would recommend you to watch my tutorial videos on how to solve May June 2020 and Specimen 2020 papers. They show model answers that include detailed explanations and tips to score an A star. Number 6. Set a time limit while doing past papers. This is one of the common weak points of many students. You can score well in your exam, but only if you have 3 hours instead of 1 and a half. There's no point in that because in an actual exam, you're not supposed to go past the time limit even for a second. If you haven't done many past papers before, it's completely normal to be short of time, it's designed in that way. But as you do the papers, you're supposed to solve them more quickly and manage to have some time left to check your answers. So set a timer, do it in an exam setting. Don't stop the timer to reply to someone's snap or a DM halfway doing the paper, that will never happen in an exam. You have to train yourself to get used to doing the paper within the time limit in order to not rush in an exam. The more you practice, the better you get, so keep going and always remind yourself about the remaining time. Number 7. Mark your papers like you're the examiner. I hope everyone refers to the mark scheme while marking your own past papers, please don't rely on your senses. Read the mark scheme carefully and mark strictly like you want to fail this person. Don't round up your marks and don't give an extra mark for writing an extra point, even though there's no AVP in the mark scheme. You may get discouraged in the beginning, but it actually reflects your current level, so you are supposed to face that, it's the reality. Sorry for being too harsh, but somebody gotta tell you this. After you're done, put your mark in red on the front page of the paper so it's easy for you to compare your marks and see the progress. 
Your marks may not get higher every time, but eventually you will do better at the same time, motivate you and help you to plan your goals wisely. So are you applying this while studying for a GCSE or A-level exams? Or do you have better tips? Share with me in the comments and also let me know if you want more study tips videos like this. I made a GCSE past paper tutorial videos, so subscribe if you want to get ready for your GCSE exams. Please like and share this video if it helped you. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and God bless you guys. Bye!